So in today's video, we're going to show you how to restore a ship that's been accidentally deleted from the table. The very first piece of information I'm going to give you on this topic is that you should never use the command control Z to undo anything in tabletop simulator. It breaks so much stuff. Don't do it. Let's learn how to put that shit back. Super simple, but a couple of uh, things that will save you a lot of time if you're playing in our Space Jam event. So if you're playing in the Space Jam event, of course, you must have a second copy of your squad on the other table. And this will help you uh, speed up this process quite a bit if it happens during your game. So uh, let's say during my game, my blue X-Wing has been destroyed, but I have a bit of a brain fart. And I go ahead and actually unlock and delete my red ship on accident. Oops, uh, I deleted the wrong ship. Well, there's a way to fix that, pretty easy. If you look in the chat log right here, and that's uh, if it's hidden on yours, you're gonna go ahead and just click that little uh, bubble right there. You will see something pop up here in, the, in this light blue text. It says, uh, Blue Squadron Escort 2's ship has been deleted. You can respawn the model and use the restore number one command to restore its position. Now. The first step of that is telling you to respawn another model to be used. We don't actually have to do that because we already have a copy out. But if you don't have a copy out, let's say you're playing not in the Space Jam, this is just for future, um, you just go ahead and respawn another model from the uh, the spawner. Now, what's the next What's the next part? Well, we're going to do a couple of extra steps to, again, save us some time for the future. We're going to go to our extra X-Wing, number two, and we're going to uh, hover our mouse over it, make sure it's hi uh, highlighted, Control C for copy, move our mouse down. Control V for paste, we have an extra copy of that. We're gonna do that actually with our uh, extra indicator too. Now what we'll do is right click on the ship that we're gonna put in the correct position. Now again, we made a copy of it so that we always have a copy of everything out that we can use. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and put it in its position. We're gonna do that by right clicking on the ship and going down here to this description box. Now, as you saw in the uh, the chat box, it told you to use the command restore number one. So we're gonna do that. Restore number, oops, number one. Don't press enter, simply click off of the menu and now the ship will return to its original position. A couple of things you do need to note. You'll notice that it is not locked down. You see how uh, that ship over here is locked down. It has just the pointer finger, and this one is an open hand. That means it's not locked down. So you're going to want to lock the ship down to the table to make sure it doesn't move. Also, if you had color coding, go ahead and move your copied color coding to the ship. Additionally, the dial that you originally used most of the time will not work anymore. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of the old dial. Go to our fresh copy of the dial we're going to control c control v we have our new one we assign it to our ship put it back in the spot where we were using it and now we are ready to go and you can go ahead and correct uh what your mistake and remove the correct ship from the game by simply moving it over or by deleting it if that's your style so hopefully this helped happy playing